A site engineer offers counsel in the arranging, co-appointment and oversight of specialized parts of development projects. His offers exhortation in the arranging, co-appointment and management of specialized parts of development projects. A site architect's job is essential to a development project. They have various duties including tackling specialized issues, giving guidance, the executives and getting ready reports. The site specialist's obligations incorporate overseeing various pieces of development projects, managing group individuals, planning gauges for time and material expenses, giving specialized exhortation and ideas to enhancement for specific tasks, finishing quality confirmation, approving specialized drawings and designing plans, noticing well-being and security guidelines, and accumulating reports for various partners, and should to work close by different experts and make work plans that fulfill time constraints. To be fruitful as a site engineer, you ought to show solid scientific and sensible reasoning abilities. Outstanding competitors should show an eminent hard-working attitude and flourish under pressure. A site engineer is the expert who gives specialized counsel and arranges and manages development projects. The calling is like that of a development director, as the two callings oversee development project bundles, manage staff, and give specialized ability and on-location support depending on the situation. What is on-site support? Giving nearby help is quite possibly the main jobs of a site engineer. Designing ventures are unpredictable and call for between disciplinary methodology, that is easy decision. However, it is consistently the designer on location who is called upon when something turns out badly. That numerous things may turn out badly isn't unexpected even to the less educated. Designing undertakings are being modified consistently, with long councils occurring in the background. Usually, the issue of expenses is the isolating line, as any retrying of plans includes enormous gatherings of experts. In any case, field designs never neglect to focus on their job, and they are in reality fit for tackling even the most strange of issues in a shockingly skillful manner. How would they do it? That is somewhat the principal question here, right? Site engineers come from varying backgrounds. It is somewhat uncommon not to see a field engineer work in more than one subject. With the scope of specializations being rich, to say the least, every field designer can pick precisely what they need. In actuality, the most striking distinction between site administrators and site engineers is that the last have more explicit specialized ability. Field designs regularly hold a degree at common, geotechnical, primary, building, electrical, or mechanical designing. That is a ton of branches there. Precisely because of their ranges of abilities, site engineers play out a wide cluster of undertakings and are required to be equipped for managing a wide range of unexpected circumstances. Skills of a site architect Basically, the principal assignment of site engineers is, administering practically everything during the development interaction. The second most significant undertaking would be, setting up, once more, essentially everything. All the more explicitly, the typical skills expected of a field engineer, as indicated by pioneers in the field, include overseeing bundles, portions of development projects, administering building work, administering workers for hire, marking out locales, arranging offices, undertaking reviews, guaranteeing that undertakings meet objective determinations, timetables, and spending plan. Examining specialized plans and drawings, verifying that specialized plans and drawings are being followed precisely, giving specialized ability and exhortation when issues happen, working together with subcontractors and customers, teaming up with the task chief and amount assesses, arranging the cost of materials included, seeing to that well-being and security guidelines are being clung to, getting ready site reports, setting up any remaining essential desk work. On top of exhibiting over-the-top specialized information and giving counsel in all cases, a site engineer is additionally expected to have foster various individual characteristics. As a matter of first importance, since the position suggests correspondence with a wide range of individuals, a field engineer should show better than expected relational abilities. The capacity to convey data obviously even to less in fact educated gatherings is additionally fundamental. Father, 
to forestall expected issues before they even figure out how to introduce themselves, a site engineer needs to have an eye for detail and choice critical thinking abilities. At long last, business mindfulness is additionally pivotal, as site engineers propose changes and issue modified requests in such manner. Good site engineers have strong numerical and analytical skills and can think in a very logical way. At the same time, they need good writing skills and the ability to produce excellent reports. You must be able to deal with a variety of other professionals and become a team player. Field engineers are often under pressure and need to be extremely diligent, organized and have excellent problem-solving skills. Many companies are willing to provide undergraduates with holiday work experience or as part of a sandwich course. This will not only give you an in-depth understanding of whether this type of work is really suitable for you, but also provide you with a real advantage in your network and job search, because you will be able to perform faster. Civil site engineering involved in almost every step of the project, from planning to design to construction. They are usually very good at solving problems. In each project, they must solve complex technical problems and come up with creative solutions. These solutions must be safe, efficient and cost-effective. Civil site engineers must weigh the pros and cons of different solutions and make the best decision. Civil site engineers usually manage different teams composed of contractors, architects, construction managers, other engineers, etc. They must effectively lead and manage each team to ensure the successful completion of the project. This means building relationships with all members of the team and providing effective motivation. Communication skills are also an important part of being an effective leader. Managers can set expectations and timetables, and provide guidance and feedback.